Hi, and welcome to my Let's Play Tech It server. Um, this is going to be Season 2, Episode 1 of the Let's Play Tech It. Um, your host, Salavox. So, uh, what I did, as soon as we were refilming the uh, Technic series, uh, I went ahead and I started up my Tech It server. It's a, it's a fresh server. Um, a few of the people that used to play on the old one are on here, uh, but I picked a place far away from them just to have as my own for the time being. Um, and what I did was I built myself a house off screen. So it's a nice little house here. Well, it's a big house, but it's only two stories. I tried to recreate some of the stuff from the Technic set that we had going on. I got my milker right here which feeds through the pipes right into the house. I got the chest here, which has been very busy making me diamonds. Got my craft table and my alchemy tablet. My project table, my alloy furnace, um, compressor, extractor, maciator, induction furnace. I got some chests the chests I've kind of stocked up a little bit on, but I still have some stuff I need to take care of. Over here I got all empty chests except for this one. Um, down here, as you can see, the power room. This is where I recreated the water generator. So as you can see, it's the exact same setup, just a little bigger. I got an MFSU right here, which is generating power, which goes to a medium volt uh, medium voltage transformer which goes into an MFE which goes to a low voltage which runs up here to a bat box and then the bat box connects to all the machinery um, this is the red power bat box which goes to the roof or not to the roof just to upstairs where I have um, solar panels powering it which you can't actually see from right here I got some paintings up two good paintings. So let's go to the second story. Let's look out the window. You can almost see it. There you go. There's the solar panels that power the red power bat box downstairs. Here is my bed. The upstairs is kind of bare at the moment. I have a diamond chest. This is to try to keep like one of important stuff so I can uh, use the energy condenser to make more if I ever need. And this is nifty. This is a death chest. Basically, if I die, everything on my person will be teleported into this chest. So the reason I placed it here is because this is my spawn point. So when I die, bam, I spawn here. I can grab whatever I lost out of the chest. Very useful. So let's sleep because it's nighttime. Okay. Also, something I was happy about was I made the floor one level higher. And I have a torch down here. So this way, when I need to uh, run wires and stuff, I can just uh, do that. Hmm didn't think this out. Kind of made myself stuck down here. It's okay. Let's get some tools out. Get my sword that I always like to carry. So, there we go. This way if I ever need to run anything under the floor, I can. So, uh, the one thing I never got around to resetting up, which I need to, is I never reset up my piping. So, none of these have pipes. I need to manually take everything out of all these and move them around. So, let's get some stuff in the maciator for now. Let's get some iron ore. Now, if you notice, I also have this overclocked still. So, it goes a little quicker, which is nice. 
Uh, I did not remake the cobblestone generator yet. I, I will do that eventually. But for now, I have not done that. So let's get the sticky resin. And put it in the extractor. So even with three overclocks, this is still going pretty slow. And having both of them run at the same time is definitely draining the uh, power source. Actually, it's it's still going up, just very slowly. So that's good. Um, you may notice that oops, none of the machines have sounds going on. That is because I went into the configuration file and actually turned off the sound for the machines. This way we don't have to hear it as much. So that's the main reason I did that. Let's get a block of diamond. I don't think I ever taught that. I guess I did. Okay. Drop those back in there. That will give me back those. How's this going? It's going good. Going. Go oh, I never made a nether portal either. I have obsidian down here, I think. Yeah, I need ten blocks of obsidian for that. And do I have flint? I don't have flint or gravel. So, guess that means I'll need to go get some. Oh wow. Apparently the induction furnace is taking up a lot of power. That's still going good. This is almost done. Let's put it's about four. We'll stick them in here for now, I guess. Let that do its thing. That's getting power again. That can't hold anymore. Okay. Let's go find some flint. Or gravel. I just need gravel. So, some of the stuff I plan to do in here is set up a um, another geothermal generator but I plan to do a unlimited lava supply from the nether and in reality it's not really unlimited but it will give you all a good chunk because I mean the nether is, is essentially unlimited lava so and if I manage to run out in the nether, that would be amazing. We're not going to get to obviously all that in this video, but um, you know, we'll get to what we get to. So, but first, let's get the nether portal built. I didn't really stock up on too many supplies. I probably should have, but it's okay because I did the energy condenser and that whole build is what will help us get a load of stuff. Look, a block of lava down here. And a lot of gravel. Huh. There's just two blocks of lava. Okay, I got what I needed. Let's I'll leave that open. No, oh, I don't think I have reeds either. Let's grab some of these. Oh, let's grab some sand too while I'm here. Can never have enough sand for the glasses.
Grab my sand. Okay, is that clay? Grab some clay while I'm here. Just because I'm right there. Back home. Um, also, something I never got around the building was the uh, Swift Gale Ring, which we will do sometime also. So, let's drop this off. Drop that off. That clay. Uh, clay can go over here. That's done. That's done. Drop that off. Reeds can go on this bottom one, I guess. Just need one of you. I love the induction furnace. It goes so quick. It really makes smell things so much faster. Okay, let's keep one, drop the rest off. My flint and tinder. Get my obsidian out. Actually, I can put them both right in the bar. Okay. Now, where to build it? Don't really want it super close to me. And if I plan to do that generator in the nether, I should theoretically have it close to the house enough to do power from it. I guess I could do it under the power room. No, I don't want it over there. We'll do it out here. We'll do it right here. So one, two. Uh, grab you. Pop you down. One, two. you. One, two, three. Three. Mm. I need another block. Okay. Okay. Take you out, take you out, take you out. Actually, let's leave it there. Okay. Nice compact old portal. Activate it. Drop that in. It's a very evil sounding portal. Go to the nether, make sure I come out at my portal. That's very important because we do have other nether portals set up and it would be very bad if I didn't actually come out at my portal. Looks like something was attacked here. Let's go home, see where I come out. not come out at my portal. I came out at someone else's portal. Let's see where I come out again. Okay. Nope. 
so that's not gonna work for me okay that's not gonna work at all yeah this is Heather's place so slash kill return I am back home grab everything now you also saw how the death chest worked suit up rearrange this okay grab my diamond pick Go out and get my nether portal. Oh. Delete that death point. Take a shortcut if I don't feel like, you know, not going that way. Ah, breaking obsidian. Lock go. Why didn't what the heck? Why didn't I get the block back? Oh well, I should get this one back. There we go. That was weird. Guess the other one was stuck on top of it. Okay, so I don't appreciate coming out of someone else's nether portal. So I guess that just means mine's too close to it or something. Oh well, we'll make um, we'll make the the flying ring instead. I think I got components for that. I should have components for that anyway. And I'll have to look into how to fix this whole nether portal thing. Because I'd much rather come out of mine than, you know, come out of someone else's that is super far away from my base. Because that would be a pain in the butt. So, we'll have to fix that. But no big deal. No big deal. We'll just take care of it. So let's let's build the swift gale ring, shall we? We'll do that instead. Drop some stuff off again. Drop you guys off. You're fine, you're empty, 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 okay. Swift, this is what we want. So I need four dark matter, four feathers, and an iron band. So, let's come up yonder. I need you. I don't need you or you. Actually, yeah, I don't need either one of you, but I don't think I've taught you that, taught them to my transmutation table yet. And I don't have any feathers. We're going to have to get some. So we'll have to go out and find some duckies.